12 consecutive Dakar winners. Two thousand and twelve Moto Three Champion. Two hundred and twenty three World Champion titles. And here we have the KTM three ninety Duke. Duke is very famous for the amazing riding experience for more than a decade. Comfortable while you ride with optimum user value, this bike is light as feather but powerfully compact. So let's go for a ride and test it. When I first saw the bike, I was like, my my, this is quite a heavy bike. And as I got myself ready to ride it, it made me feel just the opposite. As soon as I started shifting the gears, the power it made me feel and the feeling of lightness of the bike was damn impressive. The bike is really good um, for street riding. It's really smooth. Uh, it's really powerful. And yeah, I mean, pretty much I'm really impressed. I mean, no drawbacks. I mean, no regrets buying it. I got this bike on the first lot, which is about one month and a half. It feels great. You just feel like you are ready to race. Yeah. The Duke 200 and 390 looks pretty similar, but the visual elements that differentiate them from each other are the Telus frame and the wheels. They have those big plastic hand guards in the handles. The stickers they have used in the tank makes the Duke 390 looks more amazing. It definitely is a head turner. Three hundred and seventy three point two CC displacement, single cylinder engine standard motorcycle. The disc brakes of the bike comes equipped with ABS standard fitment. The 390 Duke is a sports bike version with a top speed of 169 km per hour, 35 Nm torque at 7250 rpm. With Marchesini alloy wheels, seat at the height of 800 mm, each KTM bike therefore has a bit of world championship built in as a standard. Uh, the 390 and the 200 look similar. So that, that might be a drawback because people would like a more heavier look with a more heavier engine. But I mean, the gra but the graphics are new, which, which makes the bike look, which makes the bike um, stand out more. I hope Nepal, being mountainous country, if they add some off-road features, it can have wider and you know much more wider appeal. Hi, my name is Amit and uh, I'm a graphic designer and I've been riding a uh, motorbike like past 15 years and today I uh, just rode the 390 Duke uh, which is good actually. Uh, my previous bike which I've been using are Bugatti and dirt bikes which I was I told you in later before the episode. Um, uh, especially I, I think I, uh, the thing is uh, the bike is pretty light and uh, it's got a lot of torque and it's got a very smooth uh, acceleration on this. The cost is around uh, five something. So uh, if someone guys are new uh, new into this kind of bikes, racing bikes, I would go for this. And I think it's the best for Nepal. Hi, 
Gaurav, I look after the overall operations for KTM uh, at the Pakistan showroom. Uh, so since like, you have touched with the bike, how do you feel? Uh, I really like the bike, so I wanted to know more about the specification. First uh -huh. KTM When was it first established here in the past? Uh, well, uh, started in 2012, April, I, uh, the KTM was launched. Uh, when it was launched, it was uh, we had uh, the 200 Duke itself. Uh, so talking about 200 Duke, yes, uh, we've already sold more than 500 units. And 390, yes, uh, we are hitting the road 25 today. So I rode it myself and I found it really easy to ride as well, even though it's very much powerful. Something special about this um, 390 Duke. Okay, yes, uh, I would like code it as uh, the pocket rocket. Okay, like. Whatever you have in the pocket and like when you buy 390, so that becomes a rocket. Okay, you are not losing a penny. So KTM has created a segment. So you won't find 400cc street bike. Uh, even if you look at all around the world, okay, like you, you, you will find like dirt bikes. 400cc dirt bikes will definitely find. But 390cc, uh, Bajaj, like they have come, Bajaj and KTM, they have come up with uh, this particular model, which is like 43.5 PS power that it generates. That is some. That is something like uh, which a normal 800cc car cannot produce. Okay. Uh, and the price, which is really attractive, that is 549,900. I think that's uh, pretty reasonable for all these yeah. uh, well-equipped bikes like mm -hmm. 390. Uh, crowd likes it about the target going back. And what do you think that how it's going to look in the Gijin roads and how it is comfortable to ride? Okay. Uh, talking about the target segment. So this is. A bike which an enthusiast would go for. Okay, there are so like there are so many enthusiasts in Nepal. They have this thousand cc and twelve hundred cc. But if you look at KTM three ninety Duke, first thing is the the weight of the bike. Without fuel, it's only one forty five kgs. That means it's really light. Okay, it is. It is. And if you look at the bike, there's nothing. Okay, it's a naked. So the main the main core the core thing about KTM Duke is like. It's you bought a trellis frame, which is the chassis itself. Okay. Then you put the powerful engine. Okay. Then it definitely becomes a rocket, where like you can ride in the streets and like there, there won't be anyone beating you. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, it's a one-cylinder bike. Yes. Uh, do you think it's a con or a pros for a bike like this? It's a it's a pros. It's, it's a pros because. In the in city of Kathmandu, like no, you cannot like two cylinder bike would be too much heavy, you know, the consumption and everything. So I think like yes. And overall, I personally like it too, and I hope the viewers they're watching it and I've given almost all the features, all the information of the bike. I hope they like it too. Thank you so much. For yes, thank you very much.